So it's uh, mid-July right now and the outdoor season is in full swing which means for most instructors who are out there more work than you can handle. So originally before all of this uh, terrible weather hit I was booked for pretty close to two weeks straight. No days off, just straight plowing from one session to another to the next event and onwards. Now for me, I usually operate on delivering three to four sessions a week. So three weekday sessions, then I have two, week, two days for uh, planning, preparation, marketing, content, equipment maintenance, all of that and in three days actually delivering it with occasional extra day or weekend where I deliver a course or an event or a workshop. Now that's hard going. Three to four days, working six days a week is pretty hard going. But when you start ramping it up to seven days a week or 14 days running in a row, it starts getting a bit, mo it starts getting a bit much. And I hit the wall pretty badly last week. Like, I can only describe it as burnout. It was, I stopped sleeping properly. Everything was tiring. Everything was difficult. There were a lot of things that I was doing that just weren't yielding the results that I wanted. So I was putting more effort in. There was being results out. And that doesn't make anyone happy. It's not something people usually strive for. Usually want the results to measure up somewhat with the work that you put in. So yeah, I hit the wall. I was just really struggling. I was, was reminded that even though this job is fantastic, even though I love being out here, and it is so much better than an office job, and I know that I couldn't even think of doing an office job for a week straight, seven days straight. I'd hit burnout within the first week. The fact that I can keep going for two to three weeks at a time sometimes and be fine is a testament to how good the job is, not endorsement for actually doing it. It's still a bad idea. It's still a bad idea, but if the work's there and you want to earn a living and you want to build a business, sometimes you go push but at the same time go take care of yourself so once I realized it was burnout once I kind of got through that the foggy thinking thing else and realized that yeah I pushed too long and too hard and I'm struggling now I went back to zero work back to getting myself to baseline layer zero. We think of burnout as being in negative numbers. So you're underground, you're really struggling, your base motivation, um, emotions, energy, everything else is below zero, below what you need it to be. So there's a couple of things that you can do to get yourself out of that. Or at least that they've worked well for me. First thing is take a break. Like any chance you get, if you only have half a day, use half a day. If you've got a weekend, if you can go away for a whole week, even better. But you just want to go calm silence, complete calm silence, uh, phone off, laptop off. You're allowed to think about work, but just don't have any new stimulus coming in. Nothing new, you don't want to get constant texts or messages or emails that you want to respond to or think about, just you. So just, just take it down, just switch off and refocus. Spend some time with the people that are important to you. Um, do work on a hobby that you haven't done for a while. Just focus your mind somewhere else for a while. Even if it's just sunbathing in the garden, just take that time to rest. But then sometimes you just need almost that physical rest to get that mental rest. 
So get a good night's sleep if you can. Work on bringing yourself, bring your stress levels down. Now, when I say you don't always need to think, you don't need to avoid thinking about work. This is where you can start to think about building yourself out of it. So once you've, once you've established that baseline, once you've had that rest and recovery period, then you want to move, shift into a thinking period. So that's where you get pencil and paper out, get a good book on self-development or anything else, on goal settings, just review your goals, review where you are, decide where you're going, think all of the deep thoughts, work out what it is you want to do next, and work. have a look at also how far you've come, celebrate the advances you've made, like, oh yes, I've gained two more people in my forest school session, that's two more people closer to being, to working and to being sustainable. To celebrate how far you've come, but start planning for the future. Just get it down, pencil and paper. Don't take action on it yet, because that'll just shift you straight back into stress and everything else. You just want to be building yourself up gradually. A lot of what we're missing when we burn out is that time to think and reflect, to be grateful for what we have done, to feel motivated by moving forward, by having a clear idea of where we want to be. So once you have a clear idea of where you want to be, then you can start thinking about how to get you there. And that brings back the motivation, brings back the inspiration. It means that for many people, it's recognizing that this point in life is difficult. You're struggling, things are, diff things are hard. But having a clear goal going, okay, this is what I'm doing to move myself out of the space. I won't always be in this space. I won't always be struggling this much. I have a plan to move forward. That brings back motivation. And then you can really start gradually to go back to work. But you have to go through, for me, I feel like you have to go through that cycle. You have to first take yourself out of the environment you're in, bring yourself to a new environment, somewhere where you can relax, then give yourself space and time to think, and then go into planning and preparing for the work ahead and getting yourself back on track. And I'm kind of back on track. I've been doing that the past weekend, just thinking. I mean, for me, a lot of what, what's relaxing relaxing is organizing and tidying so when I'm really stressed out and everything is getting too much for me I go back to basics and I start with my office space get it all neat and tidy start with a corner of the house that's been bugging me or a pile of equipment that hasn't been sorted out and just go through bit by bit go, okay what do I need to do with this particular piece of rope what needs to get coiled up neatly and put in that box? What do I need to do with this mess of fibers? Needs to get put in a bag, needs to, need to find a box for it, need to find a place for it to live. I work my, I've worked my way through all of my equipment and brought it into good order so that I know where everything is. So when I look at it, it feels clean and organized and I feel less stressed. Because cluttered spaces cause stress. They do. They take a mental toll. So really take, for me, it's taking that time, tidying, organizing. It's almost like the process of putting something in its place and leave, being left with a blank slate, a clear workspace, then allows me to take the next step and start adding things in. But you've got to follow through all the steps. And that's, that's the anyway, that's how I deal with burnout. I'd be interested to know what you do when you realize that you've got too much going on and you, you're just losing motivation and energy. It's difficult, but you can, you can make the life you want. I firmly believe that. So go out, 
make most of every day. See you next time.